Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this video. I started looking around the internet what the itch little symbol would actually look like. It is actually more straight up and down. So I thought that since you're going to have to hand put these in here, unless somebody's going to chime in and tell us there's another way, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to rotate it 32.8 degrees. I just picked a number. I'm going to rotate this one the same, 32.8 degrees. I'm going to hold down the control button and move this a little bit closer. And let's say you've got off. So let's go ahead and rotate this one if you were going to do inches and foot. Now they're all equal. If you got a little bit off, what I would suggest would be to select the one, control shift the other two, and hit B on your keyboard to hit bottom. That is going to be the first one selected, and if they're going to, now they're all going to be perfectly arranged and look better. Pretty easy, pretty simple, and there's a lot you could do with that. You know, if you thought, well, I need to move them down a little bit, you know, your nudge factor is 0 .0001 or say, and you can select these two, hold down the shift key and select this one. Now you've got all three selected, and you can just very minutely move it down to wherever you want it to be, and it would be equal. So, because that would be a problem if you were, because you're having to drag these in, and you're not going to be able to drag them in equally. Let's see what this one is right here. Nope, see it's quotation, even though it looks like that on there. Um, there's got to be a reason for that. I'm going to do a little research, and... Um, See what I can find out. And you can always slide and make your symbols bigger so you can see them or see more on a page. And uh, there's a lot you can do with this. The entire font, you know, or just a bunch of, let's go with mathematical symbols. Let's see what it does there. There's just your mathematical symbols. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.